Are you ready? Are you ready? I used to take myself out on dates. Open my own damn doors, pay for everything on my plate. Sometimes I'd even get to stay. Cause I gotta like that. I was in my own bag, never. Hi my lovelies, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing amazingly well. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about vanilla perfumes. But before I start this video, please make sure you are subscribed to my channel. Kindly give this video a thumbs up and let me know what your scent of the day is. Guys, I'm back. I feel so much better. Thanks to every single person that reached out to me to check up on me. I'm so thankful to all of you guys. The cold got me bad. It got me so bad, but I'm so glad to be back in better form. Now, I have about 70% of my perfume collection is vanilla perfumes. I absolutely adore vanilla. Vanilla is my favorite perfume note, followed very closely by banana and caramel all those kind of good stuff but before i start showing you guys the perfumes i was gonna rank them but i just tried doing it before i started the video and i couldn't rank them so i'm just gonna give you 10 absolutely incredible perfume i've got vanilla perfumes for vanilla lovers i've got vanillas for non-vanilla lovers because some of you guys are not really feeling vanilla like that and i've got so many varieties for every single person but before I start, can I please just take a moment to say thank you to Manuela here on YouTube. This woman is absolutely amazing. Thank you so much. My birthday is actually next week. Not telling you guys the date because I don't actually like to celebrate my birthday like that because I just feel like it's always a day to reflect. I don't know what it is, but Manuela was kind enough to send me a gift and I'm like, I'm gobsmacked guys. She sent me the new La Vie Abel Le, Le Extract. And this is the perfume right here. Like this gold bottle is everything and more. This perfume has been on my wish list since it came out. I went to smell it in a perfume shop here in London and I was so in love with it. And if you've been watching me for a while, you know I hate La Via Bell. I'm not even embarrassed to say I flipping dislike La Vie Est Belle. I feel like that perfume, it literally smells to me like a sweet fart. Yes. <laughs> I know that doesn't make sense to a lot of people. There's something stuffy about La Via Bell. And times I've smelled it on people, I've not really liked it. Apart from my little sister, she used to wear that perfume until i said i hated it and she stopped wearing it plus i associate la via bell with someone that i don't like so when she when i smelled this one i was just like completely blown away this is like la via bell it does have the dna but it's more mature it's more it's got that oud but the oud is like sweetened up like this perfume is everything this and the one in a the one that has coconut, those ones I really love. I think this one smells a little bit similar to, there's a particular La Vie Belle. I think it's the one with the swirly bottle. I'll leave a picture up there somewhere because it's quite powdery. This is quite powdery on my skin. And if you know me, you know I love me some powdery perfume. This is amazing. It's a stunning scent. I would highly recommend it for people who love the original La Vie Belle and anyone that just wants to get into oud but doesn't want the oud to be too forward. This is perfection. Thank you once again, Manuela. You are amazing. Now it's time to move on to the list. I am not going to dive in into too much um, notes or details because I find, right, when I watch perfume content, I'm bored by it. Like, if you guys just listen to perfume content, don't watch the person, just listen. It's a bit dry. Let's let's be real. It's a bit dry. It's a bit boring. And it's quite repetitive. And I just don't want that. Like, I just want to be fun and different. I just tell you guys, this perfume smells good or this perfume doesn't smell good. But one thing I will say is that no perfume is blind by safe. I know I've said and I've made videos on perfumes that are blind by safe. But those are be because people have come back to say, I blind bought this and I love it. That's the reason why I made that video. But ultimately, guys, please 
go and smell a perfume before you buy because our noses are so different now i'm gonna start with a cult favorite everybody loves this vanilla let me not say everybody because it's a story that comes with this so this is vanilla 28 by Kayali. this is one of my favorite vanillas ever this is amazing for layering i use this mostly to layer my perfumes i use it to soften my perfumes i love this this is vanilla and brown sugar to me now i actually gave i bought my friend um this perfume for christmas but i gave her a sample to try first and she didn't like it she said there's something in here that bothers me I don't know what it is but there's something in here that bothers me so that's the reason why i said please go and smell before you buy because for me nothing bothers me about this perfume although i will say this this wasn't an instant love it grew on me but once it grew on me i freaking loved it and i still love it i will always have this perfume in my collection it's an easy going everyday perfume that i honestly always use it more for layering i don't tend to wear it alone because it just doesn't last on me it's lasted longer now because you guys you guys can see the juice color as like really darkened so the vanilla has really come out in here but it's still not like a powerful perfume most vanillas are not powerful if i'm honest with you but it's a really really great perfume for layering now the next perfume i don't have a bottle for um but i did go into store i asked about this perfume and it's vanilla sex by tom ford now tom ford tries to push not tries always pushes the boundaries by naming you know their perfumes you've got the rose prick and you've got the bitter peach and like they do try to push the envelope a little bit just to make you know their perfume sound outrageous just make people notice the brand so vanilla sex has been going around for the longest time and i remember seeing stuff on tiktok especially so i went into store to ask about it it's not in the uk just yet but the sales associate told me she had smelt it she said to be honest it smells like a very simple powdery and milky type of vanilla with a lot of almonds she actually loved the perfume but she did say the longevity was lacking a little bit now that doesn't surprise me with a lot of the um, tom ford private line perfumes they don't have this mode performance um apart from maybe noir the noir that's a really really strong powerful scent and also another one that i'm going to mention in a, in a minute um but she did say that it's amazing the price is crazy to me am i going to get it possibly possibly because i do like tom ford as a perfume brand i do they don't just do perfumes they do clothes and shoes and all of that but i do genuinely enjoy their perfume so i will be getting vanilla sex when it comes but i'm not gonna blind buy it i'm going to go and smell it first and then see how i feel about it before taking the plunge but i do love the bottle i think it's such a pretty packaging and um yeah so that is all about vanilla sex by tom so Ford. the next perfume is really affordable and this is choco musk now what i love about this perfume this is my second bottle the reason why is because it's it doesn't last like this perfume disappears very 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 quickly but i love the way that it smells now i've been trying to figure out what does this smell like i was thinking ha chocomilo if you are nigerian and you know about chocomilo chocomilo is kind of like a chocolate drink um that is a nigerian chocolate drink doesn't taste like different from any other hot chocolate it's just a bit better if i do say so um this literally smells like chocomilo to me like it smells like a chocolatey vanilla but it's not like a deep or dense or dark kind of chocolate this is very very light um chocolatey vanilla scent it's quite musky but it doesn't last at all but i don't mind purchasing this over and over again it's only nine pounds on amazon so that is choco musk by i don't know the brand but i'll leave it down in my description box below so the next perfume is one of the best 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 ever vanilla ever 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 that i've ever had my nose on that's a lot of evers but this is not vanilla by m Mikalef. you guys have seen all my dents yeah i love vanilla now not vanilla or note vanilla is a slightly boozy vanilla it smells very very elegant it smells very very rich again it's not one that is beast mode loud or long lasting but it smells amazing the reason i have 
like such a this is not even 10, 10 mil is because i use this every single day for a period of time and i used to always carry a decant with me because after say i want to say three hours i can't smell this on myself and i love 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 the scent profile the bottle is pretty it's a great perfume if you love vanilla so the next perfume is a wonderful vanilla that i love but this is more of a vanilla honey and lavender scent and that is lib le parfum now again the only lip that you need i'm not the biggest fan of lip however the new one lip plant plantain <laughs> not plantain the food but like i think it's spelled plantain but anyway that is really really nice but still this is my favorite i loved how much vanilla they've pumped in here this is a long lasting beast mode super powerful and sexy vanilla honey and lavender perfume I love this. This is a 30 ml bottle. I've always said I don't feel like I need a big bottle, especially because I have such a large collection. But this, oh, this perfume is really special. The bottle is so beautiful. I love it. So before I carry on with the video, you guys know what time it is. You guys know it is giveaway time. Now I am going to ask a question in the chat. If you're in the premiere, I am going to ask a question in the chat and I'm going to pick a winner at random and I'm going to do the giveaway right here in the premiere. So I'm going to ask the question now and the giveaway item is sugar leather and this, this perfume is just phenomenal to me. Whoops, whoops, <laughs> there it is, there is sugar leather. This perfume to me smells a little bit like a cinnamon, um, vanilla, sugary leather scent. The leather is very present. Like, don't be fooled. It is present, but it's not bad. It's not like, um, because for me, I don't like leather in perfumes. I feel like leather is done really well in masculine leaning perfumes. But in here, I think it's actually quite subtle. You get more of that cinnamon vibe with the sugar um not sure if vanilla is listed but it's a really really great scent that lasts and lasts for the whole day so i'm gonna ask the question in the chat pick a winner at random um this has to only be for uk and europe probably more uk actually because right now they're really strict on sending perfumes um abroad um in the uk i don't know why i don't know what's happening with that but um, I can't send it outside of the UK, but I will definitely do something that is more worldwide. Um, but perfumes are really hard to send overseas. So that is the giveaway item for today's premiere. The next perfume is a strong, strong, strong perfume. And this is Rose's Vanille by Mancera. I love Mancera. I love Montal. They are a sister company. And this perfume literally is what it says on the bottle is Rose's and vanilla but it's quite musky it's very very strong this is one that you're going to need to wash off if you want it to come off your skin this literally stays on for two days straight on my clothes some of my clothes that i spray this on is still on there to this day like months later on my coat still because i wash my clothes like you know but um rose's vanilla is such an amazing scent it does have that vanilla 28 type of vanilla in it in my opinion it smells like it's got something a bit oody in there but there's no oud listed it definitely has an arabian touch to it but i love it i think it's amazing it smells sweet it smells sugary vanillic you do get a little bit of florals but for me it's more like a intense vanilla 28 with some roses so that is roses vanilla by mancera next on my list is probably the most powerful vanilla that i'm going to mention on this list and that is baby cat by ysl now this is very strong on the incense very vanillic but the vanilla doesn't come until they're very very dry down this person is fire i really enjoy it the the opening is a little bit similar to lune feline by atelier des Ors, but i feel like this is a lot more friendlier than that perfume i would definitely recommend this over lunfilin just because the opening of lunfilin is just it literally slaps you in the face like it kicks you and you're just like oh my gosh what is this 
but you may you will love the dry down but it takes a while to get there but for this one the opening is a little bit challenging i'm not gonna lie it's quite incense so you have to like your incense like a churchy kind of incense you have to enjoy that but the dry down is very very vanilla forward it is so beautiful and this is a very very long lasting vanilla so that is baby cat by ysl next on my list this is actually the most long lasting vanilla i think on this list but anyway this is ani by nishane i love this now i've had this perfume for a while and this is 100 ml and this perfume is one that i will forever forever need in my collection you have the ginger you've got a very spicy vanilla here extremely spicy but so so friendly this is definitely a unisex perfume leaning slightly mass um feminine in my opinion but i've watched some guys here on youtube where they find this to be masculine i don't agree at all i feel like this is a little bit more feminine leaning but it's a fantastic spicy and like a soft spicy scent it smells so sweet this is a compliment magnet i love it so that is honey by Nishane. Next on my list is SDV <laughs> by Golan. Now this is Spiritus Double Vanille by Golan. This perfume is amazing. I am so happy that I have this formulation in my collection because they have changed it. I don't care what anyone says. When they change the bottle, this perfume changed. The vanilla wasn't really vanilla like it is in this one. Now, this has been in my collection, I want to say just under, just over a year and a half maybe. Um, it's been in my collection and I love it. It's another one that's a spicy vanilla, but it's not like honey. Honey is like a spicy green vanilla. This is just spice, like a peppery spiciness mixed with vanilla, but in the dry down, it's just vanilla. But the lasting power is really lacking. It's lacking. It's gotten better over time because I've had this perfume for a while, like I said, so it's macerated. But I wish this had a beast mode performance, but it does not. But do I love it anyway? Yes, I do. I wear this on a date night. I wear this mostly in the autumn, winter time. It's not really one I pull for in the summertime just because I don't want this bottle to finish. I don't want this perfume to finish. I love it so much. It's so expensive. So it's one I use very sparingly, but it's one that I love ever so much. So that is SDV by Golan. So the next perfume is Tom Ford Vanille Fatale. Oh, this perfume is everything. This perfume is so, so beautiful. Another one that is very long lasting. This is an all day um, kind of scent. I feel like, times i've worn this to work everybody can smell me like literally i can smell myself all day it's quite expensive but i feel like it's so worth it like you know we've like lost cherry by tom ford i wouldn't get a 50 mil because that perfume doesn't have good lasting power i would get 100 mil so that I can spray and spray and spray but with this one you can get away with a 50 mil because it does really last and I've still got quite a lot in this perfume because I never feel like I need to overspray it. Another kind of spicy, sweet, um, uh, like a balmy kind of vanilla. It's very comforting. It's very cozy. It's very, very long lasting. I want to say this is like a slight beast mode. It's not like going to hit you in the face, but people around you, people in the same room as you are going to smell you. This is an amazing vanilla. And I absolutely love it. So the next perfume is one that's quite new to my collection. And this is Vanilla Shot by Olfactive Studio. This, this is a love. If you like, um, you know that Terry's orange chocolate. If you like that chocolate, you like the way that smells, you are going to love this. This to me gives me like an orangey, chocolatey vanilla um, vibe with a lot of powderiness the powderiness is more in the dry down but it's not too much it's definitely one that leans very unisex i feel like you can give this to a man because for me vanilla on a man is not really what i want to smell but this smells insane on my husband it smells so good like i said it's like an orangey 
vanilla kind of scent super super unique and i do get 15 percent or is it 10 percent off on this perfume if you are interested you can get a sample of this i believe on the website if not try and get your nose on this if you can because it is so so amazing very different to any vanilla you've ever smelled so this is vanilla shot by olfactive studios and last but not least is my newest baby i love 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 this perfume this is escapade gourmand this was sold out for a while i showed you guys this perfume what last week or week before the last look at the dents in this i am so obsessed with this vanilla caramel this is a true gourmand perfume this is everything i am looking for in a vanilla perfume it's so pretty it smells so comforting so inviting so beautiful this is not like a sexy or flirty scent it just smells very angelic and very sweet in my opinion the, lo the longevity is really good but it doesn't project this is not a highly projecting scent i think i wore this last time i saw met up with coco pebs and I don't know if she smelled this so it's quite a subtle perfume but it does last really really long and I, oh if you love a gourmand perfume if you like vanilla and caramel you are going to enjoy this perfume so that is escapade gourmand so my lovelies i am not doing a top three because i love every single one of these perfumes for different reasons i love vanilla i have lots more vanilla perfumes in my collection if you guys want to see a part two let me know if you want to see more vanilla perfumes or if you want a specific video that is like all about notes i have rose perfumes i can do all of those videos for you guys let me know comment it all down below thank you so much for watching please don't forget to comment like and subscribe and i cannot wait to see you guys in my next video bye